Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the Federation Cruiser in FTL. The Federation Cruiser is one of the more straightforward unlocks in the game. All it requires is that you beat the Rebel Flagship at Sector 8, either on Easy or Normal mode. As you might expect, this is one of the harder ships to unlock considering that you actually have to be good at the game. You're going to have to pick a strategy that works for you. Mine was to use Layout B of the Kestrel and get a crew teleporter early in the game so that I could take down crew and thus get more scrap. So the fight's divided into three phases. As you can see, they have a lot of weapons, so make sure that you have sufficient shields and engines to deal with these. I would recommend upgrading your shields all the way, and probably level 4 engines would suffice. You should also notice that they have fully upgraded shields as well, so you're going to need pretty good weapons to deal with those. And missiles, of course, pierce through them, so maybe have some of those if you can. See how the crew members on the weapons are all isolated? That's why the crew teleporter is quite good. You're also going to notice that they have teleporters and a drone system, but it's pretty rare that they use them in the first stage. So they flee after you beat them in this stage, but they do leave behind some missiles, drones, and scrap. Then you're going to have to follow them to start the second phase. It's worth noting that if the rebel flagship ever gets to the base, then it's game over. For this phase, notice how their cloaking and ion cannon are missing, but they still have some tricks up their sleeves. Most notably are their drones, consisting of anti-ship drones, boarding drones, and beam drones. But wait, there's more. There's these things called power surges where six drones consisting of beam and lasers appear for about five seconds. These appear even if the drone system is destroyed. Which makes no sense, but whatever. I would employ the same strategy as before for this phase, with extra emphasis on destroying the drone systems. Again, they're going to flee once you beat them, but they are going to leave behind some supplies. And that brings us to our final phase. Despite having two less weapons than when they started, this is still a hard fight considering that they have a Super Zoltan Shield. This shield takes more damage than your average Zoltan Shield, and also they can regenerate it. Another thing to watch out for is when they shoot eight heavy laser shots at you. Assuming you can beat this phase of the ship, you'll unlock the Federation Cruiser. And you'll save the galaxy or whatever. So what does the Federation Cruiser actually look like? Well, it looks like this, and it's got these four crew members, a human, a mantis, a rockman, and an NG. Pretty basic weaponry, just a burst laser mark II. But there is this cool artillery beam. It says it powers a slow, high-powered beam that pierces all shields and does one damage per room hit. More power means faster cooldown. So I believe this is unique to the Federation cruiser, and it seems pretty good. As for achievements, the first one is Master of Patience. Use only the artillery beam to destroy an enemy ship while taking no hull damage. Second is Diplomatic Immunity. While using the Federation Cruiser, use your crew in four special blue event choices by Sector 5. Shouldn't be too hard considering our variety of crew members. And lastly, there's Artillery Mastery. Get to Sector 5 in the Federation Cruiser without upgrading your weapon system. So that's going to do it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully you unlock the Federation Cruiser. And if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please consider subscribing because it helps me out a lot. I also have other FTL videos, so be sure to check them out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.